Lately, I've been trying to switch over to earbuds for gaming, but I always find myself having to compromise on something, whether that be the comfort, the imaging while gaming, or just the sound quality while listening to music. Luckily, there's a lot of good things going on in the earbud space right now, and I find that the sweet spot is around the $200 mark. So if you're looking for all the things that we just mentioned, you came to the right place because all three of these earbuds on the list today are amazing. Like the first earbud on the list, the Awful Performer 5. That's an interesting name. These are the sexiest pair of earbuds. In fact, the sexiest on the list today, but it's what's on the inside that really separates the Performer 5s from your average earbuds. These have four balanced aperture drivers, each of which handles different frequencies and takes the workload off one another, creating a cleaner sound. They have a nice flat profile with a slight bump in the mid bass, which is excellent here. So you're gonna get that impact without all the muddiness. The Performer 5s have a nice roll off on the highs. There's really no harshness. Probably the best highs and trouble on the list today the separation in music and instruments isn't that great though and this translates to gaming as well as the imaging and finding out how far opponents are from you is pretty difficult like you can tell what direction they're in but you can't tell how far or close they are to you so for music I prefer these over the other two on the list today but for gaming they're probably the weakest now you can plug this into any device that you want but I find that you probably need an amp with these earbuds as they don't sound as powerful going into like an iPhone, let's say. Comfort on these is pretty damn good though, as they have these nice smooth bumps along the inside that kind of form to your ear. And these are also really lightweight as well, so you almost forget that they're in your ear. The only downside to this is the cable's kind of heavy and they didn't give you like the plastic hooks around your ear, so you kind of feel that braidedness going, I can't get it on, around your ear, you know what I mean? Uh, it's not that comfortable. So would I recommend these for gaming? Probably not, especially with these other ones coming in at around the same price. But for music, these are probably my favorite on the list today. So that is the Awful Performer 5. Uh, decent pickup, I like them. Next up we have a crowd favorite, which is the Linsole Raptgo Hook X HBB. I love their T2 earbuds. I covered them in a video a while back. These are their planar edition headphones. Now what planar does is it gives you a deeper, richer sound, especially in the bass, very warm set of earbuds. You also notice that they've got some holes on the side here and these are open back, so they're gonna give you a big sound stage as well, which is definitely what we want when it comes to gaming. These are the most comfortable earbuds on the list today. Even though they look big, the Wrapped Go have these nice smooth edges, which are great in the ear. I also love the braided cable that's included. It's lightweight with plastic hooks that go around your ears for the comfort these are so comfortable and smooth that i forget that they're in sometimes which is what we want since we're trying to get rid of those big cans right the cable is also really cool in the fact that you can take off the jack and replace it with a 4.4 3.5 or 2.5 millimeter jack that just gives you a lot more flexibility without having to buy another cable which is pretty cool as for the sound, vocals are more forward on these, but when the music does hit, it is very, very punchy. These are great for EDM and rap. I will say that the rap goes aren't the most detailed earbud that is on the list today, but what they miss in the detail, they make up for in the fuller sound that they give you. When I swap between the three different earbuds, these just give you a nice, full, voluptuous, sound whereas the others can be a little bit light these definitely give you that heavy planar sound because of this explosions and gunshots are very impactful and immersive if you want to watch movies with these the rap goes are amazing for that type of thing these are also a step up from the performer fives when it comes to sound stage as well you can tell how far and close things are because these are planar earbuds and they're open so i can see why these are a crowd favorite because they have the rich full sound they've got bass they have the nice explosions and impact, and they also give you that sound stage. I think these are the most expensive on the list at 230. These are the best for gaming so far that we've covered on the list. These are great for on the go as well, plugging it into your iPhone or straight into your computer. They power them perfectly. I don't think you need another DAC amp. But yeah, the rap goes, highly recommend these for gaming. Uh, I think most people that get these will be super duper impressed with these. And yeah, they get my stamp of approval for gaming. Next up, we save the best for last. We have the Moondrop Katos, my favorite earbuds for gaming, music listening, movies, video editing. I just love these earbuds. They are great all around earbud for everything. Now I did cover the Moondrop Arias, which are a sub 100 
$1,700 earbud and those are great, but these just take everything and just turn it up to 1,000. These are a beautiful earbud that's comfortable in the ear, especially with these spring tips that just get rid of unwanted resonance compared to regular tips. The cable's pretty heavy though. This metal piece that they put right here is just ridiculous. Like it's so heavy that you definitely feel it tugging and pulling on your ears after a while. It looks, I mean, they did it for looks, but it, uh, I don't know. It wasn't necessary. These have their ultra linear technology driver in there, and they say it's supposed to replicate how the music was mastered. And I gotta agree, it sounds so beautifully detailed when you listen to the Katos. These are the most detailed and textured earbuds that are on the list today and probably that I've ever put into my ears before. You get that nice texture on people's voices like Adele or Pop Smoke. You get that raspiness and it just sends chills down your spine. I love the way these sound. And don't get me started on the sound stage. It feels like somebody's walking across your brain. <laughs> I can easily place enemies up or down in height far or wide like it's just so good for gaming and that translates over to instruments and music as well you hear the instrument you hear just things that you've never heard in your music before all types of different sounds and snares and bass drums and hits that you never heard before it's just uh it's just beautiful if you're really into instrumental music like jazz or rock things with guitars, some Playboy Cardi, these are gonna sound amazing. But one thing that is kind of a downside is that these can be a little bit bright at times and harsh on the highs. So if you do have like those instruments, like a guitar string that just hits a high note, it just can be fatiguing at times. That also translates to games and gunshots as they can be a little bit piercing depending on what skin you're using. So definitely keep that in mind uh, and have the volume down so you don't get fatigued out with these because you will be hearing everything and the texture and the way it was meant to be reproduced. They've also included two nozzles. The stock is the silver one. This one tames the music and smooths out the harsh highs. Brass expands the sound signature, but it's a little less refined. Personally, I've been going with the silver over the brass because the brass one actually accentuates the harsh highs. Man, the Katos just blew me away and I've talked to people that own these as well and they say the same thing for gaming, for music, for video editing. For movies, like I said, these are just the ones to buy. <laughs> They're comfortable, like wow. So if I had to rank them in terms of music, I'm gonna go Performer 5, Kato's, HBB, all right? For gaming, I'm gonna do Kato, I'm gonna do the HBB, and I'm gonna do the Performer 5 at the bottom. So as you can see, there are some strengths and weaknesses with each one of these earbuds, but at the end of the day, the one that did the best is the Moondrop Kato's in the most category. So if you're on the market, so they're the cheapest on the list today. They sound great, give them a try. Hit it with the EQ because these are just worth it. So after this video, I will be switching over full-time to earbuds for gaming with the Moondrop Katos, if you're curious. They finally did it, and they're sub $200, and they're just great. No longer do you have to spend $1,000 for a good set of earbuds. All right, guys, so that is gonna do it for this video. It has been your boy, BT, saying 